All right, guys, welcome back. I am Stunlock, and this is more Little Misfortune. We have reached Phantasmagoria. Valkomna. I hope I'm saying that right. Wow, this looks like the creepiest place to ever exist. So scary. I wish I had a ticket to ride, though. Really? But hey, what's that falling just in front of you? with my feelings. It can't be a ticket. Are you sure? It looks like a ticket to me. It can't be, but I'll check it out. Is that a skeleton? <gasps> Crepe. <laughs> <laughs> Crepe. Is that a skeleton? Oh god. Why do I feel like I'm a cat and he's the guy with the laser pointer? <laughs> What? A ticket? For real? Sweet and spooky. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet and spooky. You're welcome, Miss Fortune. Now, let's go find a boat to the fox, remember? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a lot to look at here. Hold on. Check this ghost. <gasps> a ghost? Damn, that's creepy. Miss Fortune, please mind your language. But I got scared. It's totally understandable. That's no excuse. Okay. Yeah, that's the same guy with the beer gut that we saw in the other place. It says, Welcome to Phantasmagoria. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I don't like the clown. Ghosts I can deal with. Clowns, no thanks. <gasps> A creepy clown? That's creepy. It's creepy. How do you spell creepy? <gasps> oh, balloons. I love balloons. Just so you know that I love balloons. <laughs> okay, Miss Fortune. I have a feeling that's going to come up later. Hey, you, from the other side, Miss Fortune deserves to have a fun time. So try to make the right choices for her, all right? That sounds like some kind of like last meal request. This freaking guy. What was up with that red balloon that just like took off? Mm -hmm. I just have one ticket, so I can just ride one ride. I'm gonna look around first. All right. You get to, whoa. It's kind of oversized. Who's this? Ew, you know, once I saw a documentary on TV about hot dogs. And now I don't want to eat hot dogs. Oh, I hear you. I still eat hot dogs, but yeah, they are kind of gross. <gasps> Sorry about that. I was just trying to pull your leg. If you do it one more time, I'll just shut my eyes tight and see nothing. Yeah, I, I kind of jumped out of my seat a little bit. This looks like Benjamin, but creepier and angrier. <laughs> Okay, so that's another fox appearance. That's, that, this is all Mr. Voice. Is this really happening? All right, so we have a carousel. What else do we have? The mean children at school say that I have a pumpkin head. I can see the resemblance. The what? Nothing. Wow. Huh, okay. Pumpkin head, huh? Candy. Ah, the smell of freshly made candy is delightful. Ah, yes. Too bad we can't afford any. There's some candy on the ground. I could use the party hat to make my own mixed candy cone. Come on, Miss Fortune. Don't even think about it. I'm doing it. Ugh. Are you really gonna eat some of it? No, because that's disgusting. So, the answer is no. Hey, oh no, yikes forever. I was just kidding. <laughs> ah, you almost had me there, Miss Fortune. I'm a funny little lady. Love candy, not eating it out of a trash can at an amusement park. <laughs> Alright, we got a horror house. Great. I think that's it. Our choices are horror house, 
or carousel? I'm gonna choose carousel. Check out those sweet unicorns. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? Yes, yes it is. Let's do it. Yes. All right then, have a pleasant ride. Uh-oh. What's going on? Is she just getting sick? Oh, I don't feel so good. I'm feeling this. You think you're going to puke? I don't want to. But the ride went too fast. It was fun. Alright, good. Take a deep breath and you'll soon feel better. Good, good. Now, let's go find that boat. That boat? <sighs> okay, I'm okay. I wonder if eating the candy would have made her throw up. If you ate the candy, then got on the ride. Quite possible, I don't know. Let's get out of here. Okay, so Hiro's trying to talk to us, man. I think he's trying to tell us something. Ah, oh, there's a bunch of games here. Can I play one? Oh, of course. You must play one before we leave on the boat. I just love it here, don't you? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> I want to play a game now. <laughs> that sign says massacre. Danger, now with real bullets. Yeah, we're gonna skip that one. And... We got whack a fox Again with the foxes. Mr. Voice, can I get a balloon? Because my mommy never gave me one. So maybe you can give me one. Well, you know we can't afford any, but look! What's that? A floating balloon! Is it for me? Yes! Okay, <laughs> thank you. Hmm. Ah, uh, here's my luck. Oh, Miss Fortune, I'm sorry about the balloon. Don't worry. Thank you anyway. Mr. Voice did that on purpose. He's messing with us. Alright, so we got a fortune teller machine. What's this? Check those sweet rewards! A golden chocolate coin, a cool tiny hat, and a doll. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm kinda low on reward tickets. Kinda low? We don't have any. Let's, uh... Let's go play some games. Okay, so... Sweet, a fortune teller. Can I try this? It looks like you need a reward ticket. Ah, uh, okay. Man, everything requires tickets, so I guess we are forced to play... Let's play whack a fox Check this out. I can get a reward ticket if I win. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Please, go ahead. I can't wait to see what it's about. <laughs> Are these tiny foxes like Benjamin? They're dangerous foxes. Pretend they all stole your eternal happiness and whack them. Whack them! Okay. Oh man. I was pressing the wrong stick. Oops. Cat down. Sorry. Damn it. I didn't win. 
Well, you can try as many times as you want. Okay. What? How many do I have to hit? All right, we gotta do it this time. Bing. Bing. Yep. Yes. I'm so slow. Yep. All right. So we got seven. Yes, I won. Great whacking misfortune. Um. Yeah, let's keep playing. You need more tickets. Oops. Boing. Cat down. Boing. Cat down. <laughs> oh, that was easy. So two in the middle that are kind of tricky because it takes you a second to remember up down instead of you know, a button. How many? I think it was like three, then two, then one. Go check. I forgot how much these things cost. Let's go take a look. Yeah, three, then one, and two. So we need a total of six. This is the most important thing to get, I think. Reality will transform into what the child desires most. Reality will transform into what the child desires the most. Oh, really? A desire, you say? <laughs> I like desires. What did you choose? Nothing. Wait, is that... I just realized that that's like clothing for Stony. I guess we're gonna have to get that. Alright, so let's play some more. Get the rest of the items in there. I think we need three more, right? Wait, let's try. Well, you know what? Let's try this. This one is free. I want to play it. Oh, please do play it. Play it as much as you want. Really? Alright. Well, check this out. Now with real bullets. Something terrible is going to happen. <laughs> I, I think I broke the game. Yeah. It looks like it. Aww. Well, I guess that means we're playing Wacka Fox. Because that thing's on fire. the most you can get. Oh, that's how many chances you get. Every time she hit one, it's so funny. All right, we're good. We got our three. All right, so uh, let's get the last two: the chocolate coin and a hat for Stony. I know who will look amazing in this tiny cool hat. Shadam! <laughs> there you go, Stony. You look like a rock star. Why does Stony look like he's got blood on his forehead? What have you been up to? That 
golden chocolate coin looks delicious. I'll take that. Actually, that sounds pretty good right now. Some chocolate. Okay, so... What now? Oh wait, I want to try this thing. This... Fortuna. So we need to play some more so we can play that. Fortuna. Okay. So we're done. Now I already know that this fortune teller is going to tell us something related to the story. Has to be. Fortune teller, can I try this? I'm gonna give us some cryptic message. Hello, I am Miss Fortune Ramirez Hernandez, and I want to know the future of me. Please, thank you. <laughs> Once you see the beyond, the beyond sees you, and you can be sure it will be coming for you. <gasps> The beyond is coming for me? <laughs> What's the beyond? Want to try again? Oh yes. Oh, but we need more tickets. So... Looks like you need a reward ticket. Uh, okay. That explains why the kids can see her. She can see them so they can see her. Guess nobody else can see them. All right. Check that out. I want all the reward tickets. <laughs> I'm awesome. That's really impressive. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, so we got all of them. That means there must be two more goes at the Fortuna. Maybe she can drop some clues. Drop some science. Yes, again. What you see in the beyond is not what you see, but what you don't see. Oh, really? <laughs> Talk about crazy. Want to try it again then? Hmm. Okay, okay, again. You are being lied to at this very moment. Trust me, me, me. Don't trust anything. Ah, oh, really? Who is lying to me? Is Benjamin lying to me? No. <gasps> what? What? Oh no. Too bad. Yes, poor little birdie. Maybe he was flying drunk. You know, like my mommy did once and crushed daddy's car. Like this little birdie crushed with its body, you know? Yes, I get it, Miss <laughs> Fortune. It's still sad. It crushed. So Mr. Voice wanted to shut that down because he knows we're learning too much. Diabolical Mr. Voice. Swan Lake. It says you need one golden coin to ride the boat. Huh, okay. Uh, what? Where are we going? Check this boat out. It's like a black swan. How cool is that? Really, really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Yes, and it's just one golden coin. I got the sweet chocolate coin reward. Is that good? I don't think that would... No, see, it's fine. Oh, look at that. Well, are you ready to leave? I guess, yeah, let's go. I mean, what else are we gonna do? This is going to be so cool. 
I hope we don't get attacked by virus, though. <laughs> or the Kraken. What's a Kraken? Well, if you see it, you know. But tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for that, Miss Fortune. Just forget it. Ugh, but now I'll think about it forever. Ugh. Okay, so we got some massive, obvious crossing over into the beyond, the, the other side, the upside down. Ah, Kraken, if you appear in front of me, I will see you. <laughs> and if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet Kraken, come up in front of me right now. Oh, what's a freaking Kraken? Hey. This place is very quiet. Is one allowed to talk? Anyway, I was thinking, is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like uh, some pet doggies, some pet kitties. I want to pet the Kraken, if it's possible. Well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. With fish, you say? Well, I don't have any fish on me. Mm. I guess I won't be petting the Kraken. Was that the fish from the bridge? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's happy because I saved him. You remember I saved him from the bridge? Remember? Yes, I remember. Did you see the kiss he gave me? <laughs> On my mouth? Because he was in love with me. Because I saved him. <laughs> Somebody loves me. <laughs> hey, Mysterious. Are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? You don't seem to want to talk about it. And why is that you collect coins? That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? <laughs> Miss Fortune, just leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway. Do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some translation. Wow. Do you know what this means? Kiriba doko desu ka? So you don't know, huh? You know, I've never been outside this late by myself. Do you go outside by yourself this late? Every day? Are you going to eat my chocolate coin? Because I'm a bit hungry. Ah, <laughs> uh, stop talking! <laughs> ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, Mysterious, where are you going? Are you going? serious? Oh no, can he swim? Hello? Wow. That's what happens when little ladies ask too many questions. It makes people want to drown themselves. Ah, stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Look, we have arrived. That's hysterical. The ferryman's like, yeah, I'm gonna head out. I've had enough of this talking. Alright, where... What exactly are we doing? We're going to... Benjamin's house. Why are all these toys here? <gasps> Check that out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. Why are all these toys here? What time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. It's coming. Kiddo. Okay. This is getting real weird. I'm getting confused now. <laughs> Check this out, Stony. This is your family, see? From the woods. Say hello. And now, say bye bye, baby Stony, because we're leaving. Baby Stony. <laughs> oh, damn it. My little foot got stuck. What? Oh no, oh snap. It's the monster, Mr. Voice. Can you see? Can you see it? <gasps> yes, yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, Leave me alone. 
Thank you. What are you running away from? Is it the fox? I'm pretty sure it was the fox. No, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. Mr. Voice, you know exactly what's going on. You're trying to set me up. Why does he have a video camera? Don't make any sudden moves. Play dead or get up. Let's get up. I'm not afraid of Benjamin. I think he's cool. Uh, your boss. So soft. <laughs> Don't touch her with your filthy paws, you beast. Stop it. You're scaring him away. Yeah, this is a enemy of my enemy hey, thing. Benjamin? If Mr. Voice doesn't like Benjamin, then Benjamin's got to be okay. Please, Miss Fortune, stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me, he's dangerous. Stop running, please. No, keep running. Do whatever the opposite of what he says. Oh. Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. Uh -huh. I know I could have been more specific, like there's a bear trap up ahead. Stop or you will be hurt. But I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay. Thank you. Who left a bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously the fox also. I don't like the fox. I have what you call foxophobia. That's not a Is thing. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sure there's a phobia for foxes, but I don't think it's called foxophobia. Oh, this makes me think about Bobsy, you know? Did, did I show you Bobsy the teddy in the secret spot? He will be very sad to know about this, you know? These bear traps, because he's a teddy bear. He lives in a world of fantasy where there are no bear traps. <laughs> and if he will go in the woods, he will see this and not know he's dying. Now I see Bubsy being killed by a bear trap. That's how it is now. He's dead. Bubsy died. What are you talking about? About Bubsy, don't you listen? Let's keep going now. Obviously. Bye, Bubsy. Trap dead in the bear trap. Let's glitter that up. Oh, so we got one of these room things. Let's see what this one says. It's stuck, huh? Hmm? Wait, what? The elimination of Prime Me will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really? Interesting. It's stuck, huh? Well, so we can't take it back out anymore. The illumination of Prime Eve. So some kind of light source will banish the beyond. Or the people... The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, nice. I still think we missed one. What are you doing? Nothing. So, Miss Fortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic? She absolutely believes in magic. I am absolutely certain of that. Yes, yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink cues and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh yes. Yes it is, my sweet child. Moving on, 
Second question. Do you trust me? Nope. That's easy. I'm just gonna tell him. No, you're just a voice in my head. Mommy talks to herself a lot too. She says it's her inner demons and that they just keep them away. I'm sorry to hear that. Hi, are you my inner demon? Me? A demon? <laughs> no. Nah, you can't be a demon. Not with the silly voice. <laughs> oh, snap. Well, anyway. Now, for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? Hmm. I think she would say yes. Yeah. Yes, I am. I don't know if I will like being dead. It's like too mysterious, you know? What if I can't bring my glitter? Well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Looks like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know? <laughs> hey, look at that. I think we're here. Benjamin! Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure the fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty. And if you see the fox, run. All right. Hmm. So Benjamin supposedly lives here. All right, I think we're going to stop here. I'm going to call it. Uh, we'll pick it up in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.